Now some adjustments will be made to the model using transpose. It's a good idea to lower the resolution of your model while transposing just to make things a little bit easier for you. After clicking scale up at the top, Simon will hold down the control key and simply click and drag on his model to create the mask that you see here. In the tool palette under the masking pull down, Simon can click blur mask to soften the effect. Then by simply switching between move, rotate, and scale, he can use the action line to adjust the claw however he likes. The same transposing techniques are then used on the tentacles to continue adjusting. If you're new to the concepts of transpose, don't forget that there's a whole series of introductory videos located at zclassroom.com, which will take you step by step through a lot of the basics that Simon is going through here. One of the very powerful aspects behind using transpose is the ability to quickly transition between moving, rotating, and scaling the different parts of your mesh that you're working with. Don't forget that the keyboard shortcuts for these options are W for move, E for scale, and R for rotate. Simon will often use these keyboard shortcuts to quickly transition between the different modes. At this point, Simon will switch back to the move brush to again just subtly adjust some of the forms of the mesh. Once Simon is done transposing the model, he'll move back up to a higher subdivision level so that he can continue sculpting some finer detail. Again, he uses the Damien standard brush to refine some of these forms.